very much. And we'll now move on to Mikhail Hauser, who uh, is a teacher at the pedagogical faculty of Charles University and also my colleague at the Philosophy Institute of the Czech Academy of Sciences. And uh, among various things has worked recently on the question of what postmodernism is or was, was and what comes after postmodernism as it shifts and takes other forms. Um, and worked on some, an idea he calls meta-populism. Um, but now he's working, he's going to present on another one of his main topics, which is the work of Alain Badiou. Thank you for the presentation. So we can ask uh, whether uh, the Badiou's choice for ma mathematics and set theory especially was uh, contingent uh, or conditioned somehow, similarly uh, to uh, Oliver Feldham speaking. Another question comes up uh, whether this uh, generic suture of philosophy to set theory uh, hasn't uh, produced a double effect uh, that is uh, the creating philosophy of truths and simultaneously uh, putting uh, uh, of an internal limit into this philosophy of truth. And this limit uh, can be seen as uh, uh, ontological limit uh, of mathematics. Uh, I am going uh, to develop three theses. First one, Bedu Badius' uh, act of generic uh, suture of philosophy to mathematics, I mean set theory, has uh, uh, a structure of historically forced choice. The second thesis, this historically forced choice uh, of suture philosophy to mathematics in the shape of set theory engendered the real in Bedeus philosophy. The third thesis, the real manifests itself as gaps in Bedeus philosophy, meta-ontology, that provoke uh, the generic suture to another type of mathematics that was category theory. And uh, this multi-suturing shows that there is no principal obstacle to connect Badius' philosophy to some uh, uh, social sciences and even to historical mater materialism. So the first thesis, uh, <coughs> choice for mathematics was a historically forced choice. Uh, I try to summarize uh, this argument. Uh, this is not uh, the core part of Mark, my contribution. Uh, when we consider uh, the situation uh, in which uh, Plato, Descartes, and Badiou uh, developed uh, his philosophy, we can say that uh, this situation was uh, the situation of uh, sophistry. That means uh, uh, the philosophical situation where, uh, where uh, oh, we uh, uh, knew that uh, uh, it, it is impossible to, uh, to instigate a truth. And uh, this situation uh, can be seen as uh, uh, an aporetic situation, which means uh, that uh, uh, there is no way of uh, breaking uh, 
out of the situation on the basis of the uh, given texture of the situation by the means of the situation itself. Uh, we can see that all these philosophers uh, uh, made a choice for mathematics. Plato, Descartes and Badiou as well. Uh, my argument is that uh, this choice uh, of was uh, a forced choice because in the aporetic situation uh, there is uh, only way uh, uh, of breaking out of the situation and this is an uh, act of uh, of, uh, of subtraction of subtraction that uh, is an act uh, which is provided by mathematics. Uh, especially set theory uh, provides us with uh, this act uh, of uh, uh, subtraction when considering, when considering the fact that uh, at, uh, that uh, set theory uh, uh, tells us uh, that there is no things like objects or even the, uh, the uh, number as a, a point of departure. And uh, said theory uh, uh, says that uh, we uh, have uh, we have a chance uh, to. Uh, we have chance uh, to uh, devoid uh, ourselves of all perceptions, all experience, uh, all uh, assumptions which are connected to a given situation. This is uh, an act of radical subtraction which is uh, connected to set theory. And uh, uh, this is why I claim that uh, in the aporetic situation it is necessary uh, to, make, uh, uh, to make an act of, uh, of uh, subtraction and this act uh, uh, is provided by mathematics and set theory especially. Second thesis, the real in Badiou's uh, philosophy. This choice uh, for mathematics and set theory uh, led uh, to uh, the uh, fact that uh, in the core of Badiou's philosophy, the traces of real, <coughs> real appeared. But uh, we can, uh, so on this point, I disagree with uh, Slavoj Žižek, who maintains that, uh, that uh, Alan Badius uh, transposes the real into the discourse of master. I, dis I disagree with Žižek. We can, uh, we can uh, read uh, an, a remarkable meditation, 26 in uh, Badiou's Being and Event, uh, where Badiou shows how real, called to void, reappears in the state of situation. That means in a uh, metastructure or the representative structure. Uh, but you <coughs> realize uh, on Easton's theorem, which tells us that uh, in order to designate the value of a multiple with uh, an infinite cardi cardinal, uh, it's 
in entirely consistent to simply choose any superior successor this cardinal. In Badiou's term, at uh, metastructure is quantitatively larger than tend to structure or this presented situation, but it's impossible to determine the quantitative difference between them. The metastructure is representation of situation and from Easton's theorem it follows that uh, representation contains an excess that cannot be counted. And uh, this is uh, uh, a real or to void in a metastructure itself. And uh, what I can make now is to understand Badiou's meta-ontology uh, in the light of Easton's theorem. I argue that uh, Badiou's meta-ontology is a representative structure that involves the excess of representation that is the real which cannot be removed in any manner. For it, is, uh, it follows that there is no adequate uh, philosophical Badiouian representation, representation of ontology. Uh, and uh, uh, this is my argument uh, that uh, uh, Badiou's meta ontology contains uh, the traces of real which was overlooked by Slavoj Žižek. The third thesis, the real as gaps in Badiou's philosophy. The real manifests itself uh, uh, as uh, gaps uh, in uh, Badiou's philosophy, uh, which can be seen as a result of uh, an unrelation, an adequate relation uh, between uh, philosophy and set theory. And uh, uh, we can find some gaps in Badiou's being and event from which the most striking was the gap in the theory of relation and moving in a being and even there is a single sort of relation that is to belonging. And uh, Badiou uh, made uh, another suture that was suture to category theory. Uh, as Badiou put uh, uh, to difference between set theory with axiomatic thought and category theory with definitional thought is a contemporary incarnation of the difference between Plato and Aristotle. It means uh, that uh, uh, Badiou's philosophy was sutured to two mathematic theories which are inconsistent uh, uh, and uh, we cannot construct an, an unifying theory of uh, set theory and uh, category theory. There is I don't know, I'm not a mathematician, but 
uh, I suppose that uh, there is no construction of a unified mathematic uh, theory. So uh, these uh, this gaps uh, can be seen as uh, uh, the gaps uh, concerning uh, the social sciences. Uh, as you may know, uh, the proponents of historical materialism highlight uh, uh, some uh, lacunes, some gaps in Badiou's theory. These gaps concern uh, the theory of capital, Marx, value, the social class, class relation, or uh, or uh, to social tendency or latency. Uh, we can remember uh, the work by Ernst Bloch, social latency, or uh, a concept of social whole or totality. Uh, see work by George Lukács. And we can see that uh, these con concepts uh, uh, form uh, some gaps in uh, Badius' uh, uh, meta-ontology due to uh, the given sutures. And uh, uh, my point uh, is not to show that, uh, that uh, even from Badius' point of view, we have a plurality in the domain of science. Badiou himself uh, uh, says that uh, some social sciences uh, uses, use uh, uh, the mathematical formalization and uh, these are the basics of uh, po uh, Marxian political economy some part of anthropology and so on. For, uh, from Badiouan point of view, these sciences uh, can be accepted. But uh, my point is not uh, to highlight a plurality of, uh, of uh, suturing or a, an act of multi-suturing. Uh, I suggest focusing on the real in Badiou's meta-ontology in the shape of its gaps. And I propose uh, to recognize them as uh, underdeveloped or latent concepts or concepts. And uh, I can connect uh, this focus on the real in uh, the shape of gaps with uh, what Altisser called symptomatic reading. And this is a specific sort of symptomatic reading, reading that we can, we can make in this case. Because uh, we can uh, we can uh, uh, suture but use philosophy to social science or even to historical materialism on the basis of uh, underdeveloped and latent concepts in Badius theory itself. But uh, uh, we always uh, uh, have to begin uh, uh, by passing through the subtractive domain of Badius philosophy. I, uh, uh, I propose to reinterpret reinterpretation of social sciences and especially historical materialism uh, on 
by uh, on a uh, subtractive gesture of uh, uh, Badiou's uh, philosophy. And this uh, symptomatic reading uh, uh, would uh, keep the subtractive meaning of said fury. And uh, all my business here was uh, uh, to uh, make a proposal uh, to, to, to own outline uh, a proposal uh, what uh, the possible next development of materialist philosophy could be. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. And uh, we're uh, no time for questions. We have to. I'll turn this over to Jana. Just, if we can, we would maybe send our translators home <laughs> because they are overworked right there. So we can accept maybe a one question, but it won't be translated into Czech, okay? Because um, they are really tired over there. So. Really, really one pressing question.